exactly. The Lord Yahweh came back and he actually died upon the cross. He was the true sacrifice for the nation of Israel. See what I'm saying? So therefore, he was the ultimate sacrifice for us. And so now, therefore, the only people that were ever given grace or given repentance was the nation of Israel. Make sense? Yes. Okay. Grace of, the grace of repentance? Huh? You said the grace of repentance? The grace of repentance or, or a remission of sins. Wow. They're the only ones that can be forgiven. Romans chapter Go ahead, go ahead. Romans chapter 9, starting at verse 3. For I could wish that myself were a curse from Yahweh Shah Mashiach. For my brethren, my kinsmen according to the flesh. Romans chapter 9, verse 3. For I could wish that myself were a curse from Yahweh Shah Mashiach. For my brethren. My kinsmen according to the flesh. He was cursed according to the flesh. So that means he's talking about here right now, according, according to, to the flesh. flesh. Okay? Because you got a lot of people, oh, yeah, this is all about the spirit. No, you have a lot of people out there that, that try to bring up that old drunken philosophy, that basically that bullshit. You know what I'm saying? Verse 4. Who are Israelites? Who are Israelites? To whom pertaineth the adoption and the glory and the covenants? The adoption? Go ahead, brother. The adoption. The adoption is the Lord dying on the cross for the elect of these people. That's right. That's what was going to bring us back to the heavenly Father. That's right. Because the, the scriptures, how the scriptures say, the only way you can get to the Most High is through His Son. Through His Son, when He died on the cross, that's what brought the elect of these people back into. The, uh, the, the the good graces of the Most High, so to speak. Go ahead. Who are Israelites to whom pertaineth the adoption, the adoption, and the glory, and the glory, the glory is the kingdom of heaven. For the elect, when they come back into this thing and do everything the right way, their reward is going to be the kingdom of heaven. Go ahead. And the covenants, and and the giving of the law, and the covenant and the giving of the law. The only people that got that was these people right here. That's right. So that's the only people who was talking. About. You know what I'm saying? The thing is, you got these people right here scattered, scattered amongst everybody else all over the world. That's right. But that's a whole other topic for a whole other day. That's right. You know what I'm saying? You got it, bro. Okay. Now, I'm going to go back to what this brother was going into at the beginning, just so we don't digress too much from the point. Uh, what you got? Go ahead. 21. You started to This is Acts chapter 2, verse 21. And it shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be saved. Mm -hmm. Ye men of Israel. Ye men of Israel. Go ahead. Hear these words. Ye men of Israel. Hear these words. So there again, we've just showed you over and over and over in different parts of the Bible that the Lord is only talking to one group of people. All right. Okay. The nation of Israel. That's it. That's all. That's it. Ain't nobody else gonna make it. If you don't know who the who, who uh, the nation of Israel makes up, come up here and take a quick look at the sign right here, and it'll tell you exactly what you need to know. That's right. Go ahead. What you got? This is Joel chapter two, verse thirty-two. And this shall come to pass that whosoever shall call on the name of the Lord shall be delivered. That's right. Whosoever call on the name. Okay? That's a cut to a lot of you Israelite groups out there that don't believe in Yahweh by Shem, Yahweh shot. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead. For in Mount Zion and in Jerusalem shall be deliverance. That's right. In Jerusalem, when it's talking about Jerusalem, it's a people before it is an actual place. All right, so it's talking about people. Go ahead, brother. I, I got like one more. Okay. Go ahead, as the Lord has said, and in the remnant whom the Lord shall call. So that goes back into the elect. It the goes remnant. back into the elect. It's only going to remnant. The remaining. It's just like we talked about the two thirds. The remnant is the one third. The remnant of Israel is the people that's going to be saved. Everything else is everything else. Yep. All on. Yep. Okay. It's, 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 got it. The Lord. The Lord is going. He's going to wipe out the majority of our nation. It's going to look like our nation is done. Only the elect is going to make it out of here. That remnant, it's going to be a big number, but it's not going to be compared to two-thirds. <laughs> you know, that's just, that's not even that. Right? Yeah. This is Matthew chapter 1, verse 21. 
and she shall bring forth a son, mm -hmm. and thou shalt call his name Yahawashah. That's right. For he shall save his people. He shall save his people. His people. All right. Not not the so-called white man. Not the so-called Chinese man. Not all of the rest of the other nations. Mm -hmm. All right. Go ahead. For he shall save his That's people. Fine from their sins. Hey, can I say something real quick too and just breaking down their name like the brother just beautifully said, Yahweh Shah, uh, the one who the world called Jesus Christ, Yahweh Shah, his name is a nomen omen for what he would come to do. Yep. When you break that word, Yahweh Shah down in the Hebrew, Yah means he and Yahweh Shah means deliverer or he is the deliverer because that's what we're looking for him to come do, man. Yes. According to the prophecies written in the Bible, man. You know, so, so that's why that name is important too, man. Uh, it ain't no Jesus Christ. Uh, Jesus and Christ, that, that, that's, those are Greek words, man, which means anointed savior in the Greek. But the true name of uh, who the world calls Jesus Christ is Yahweh Shah, and the Father's name is Yahweh. You know, I don't know if that's being brought out, but I just want to, hey, you know, put it in, you know? Spirit. I was like, he gonna burn that shirt after the night. Right. <laughs> I'm gonna just rip it off. <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. Go on, that was it on that. Terrible. Okay. Uh, before you go on that.